Gentlemen on my right, Mr. Steve Wade from Washoe Valley. I, uh, I grew up in Dayton. No, I, actually I grew up in Virginia City, but I lived in Dayton. So um, I just tell everybody in, in uh, 50 years, I just managed to roll six miles downhill from here. So, uh, I'm proof that gravity does work. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to play for a little while. We get some uh, songs to roll off, some old songs, some new songs, maybe a couple you haven't heard before. Um, it says cowboy poetry on the uh, poster, so we're going to do a little bit of that. Um, please feel free to get up at any time, go to the bar, or whatever. We're going to play for a little while um, and then take a break um, for about 15 minutes, and hopefully you will come back and we'll play a little bit more. Take it away, Mr. Wade. He's a complicated cowboy. He lives a complicated life. He has one new and one old pair of boots, one trusty pocket knife. He hates breaking in another hat, likes his jeans all worn and faded. And he's proud to defend his fashion sense, his cowboy complicated. He knows every post, every pair on every stretch of fence. And he's had the same truck for 15 years, and he's fond of every dent. He has most of what he wanted, but he'd be the happiest man alive. If the gate would open by itself, he could teach his dog to drive. He's got a hundred things to do today. He'll get to everyone. And no one tells him where to start. He stops when he gets done. He doesn't analyze, prioritize, call a meeting to evaluate it. He just does what must get done. It's cowboy complicated. He's deep in debt. You can bet that he don't mind at all. It's a debt of gratitude for a neighbor's help way back in the fall. And when it comes his time, Paying kind of good hand is appreciated. If it's a two-man task, you don't have to ask. It's cowboy complicated. He's got a hundred things to do today. He'll get to everyone. And no one tells him where to start. He stops when he gets done. He doesn't analyze, prioritize, call a meeting to evaluate it. He just does what must get done. It's cowboy complicated. He just does what must get done. A little hard to comprehend for some. You can't explain it. Simply stated, it. it's cowboy complicated.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Is the sound okay? Because we can stop, you know. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure it's PA's okay out there. All right. So this is a song from um, a CD, um, not the last one, but the one before, um, called This Side of the Dirt. And this was a song that I actually wrote with uh, another guy named uh, Ken Graydon. And I was lucky enough that this is the last recording he was ever on or will ever be on, and this is called Riding With My Shadow. Contemplating nature and philosophy I'm just riding down the canyon with my shadow And it's just the two of us wherever we go It makes the perfect traveling amigo And he leaves the destination up to me So no one I'd rather ride with then my shadow, you'll always find the two of us together. And it doesn't seem to matter where we ride. When evening comes, he fades into the darkness. At sunup, he'll be right back by my side. Just a bit warm in here this evening. For those of you that don't know, um, and I mentioned earlier, I grew up in Virginia City. Um, as a matter of fact, the first house I lived in was just a block down the road. And uh, one of the things that uh, I, I've always been um, a big history fan. And when I started playing uh, Western music, I had this song. Um, for quite a while before I played it, because usually when you go to Western cowboy music gatherings, they don't play much, too many songs about railroads. I don't know why that is, but this is a song that I actually wrote about the V&T Railroad, and this is called Bury Me Beneath the Steel Rails. Mm -hmm. 
Steve called Mama, I'm a Cowboy. There's nothing left but ashes. The 
fire's gone for good I'm trapped here in this cabin Too cold to go for wood So I thought I'd write a letter Let you know that I'm okay Though my leg still hurts a little From a bad spill yesterday Dear mama, I'm a cowboy And I know that breaks your heart And all the things they wrote about me Must have torn your world apart So mama, please forgive me Though I drove you near insane I never Found him in the springtime at the table where he died. His tears had stained the paper where he bowed his head and cried. We all just bawled like babies as we read one by one and thought of our own mamas and all the things. The boys all gathered round I read his letter one last time We placed him in the ground and Dear Mama, I'm a cowboy And I know that breaks your heart And all the things they wrote about me That's a song by Red Spiegel, and uh, he was kind enough to let us put this on the new CD, so that's kind of cool. So, um, the, the first time I, you know, I lived right down the street from here, and uh, I always thought, well, that would be a really cool place to play, Piper's Opera House, and it, it didn't look anything like this. At least not when we used to sneak in. That's right. <laughs> so, I always thought it would just be a great place to play, and I finally got to play here. For those of you that have heard the CD, um, Lacey J. Dalton, Wild Horse Crossing, I got to play this song on that CD, and I got to perform the whole, when they did the whole CD here live, and I got to play this on stage, so that was the first time I played here. This is the song I played, this is called The Escape. Me and 
Wade was riding fence line out in the rugged peaks south of the Oregon border and north of Leonard Tree. When high up on the rim rocks, a shadow across the sun, and down sagebrush covered draw came a Mustang on the run. Pounding on his hoof beats, shook the chilly air, blowing hot breath from his nostrils and his eyes with wide and scared. He was running like the devil. Was tangled in his mane. In the distance came the beating of helicopter blade. And there was magic in the muscle and strength in every line. Face of Western history, going back to Spanish times. Conquistadors and cowboys and the legendary chiefs. The shy and soon Kyle reflected in that beat. Helicopter cleared the ridge line. We knew that horse was done. In the window sat a shooter with a tranquilizer gun. One hundred yards of closing, we missed one small detail. Sure, the helicopter had the speed, but the Mustang knew the trail. He was hell bent down the hillside where the canyon walls are steep. A racing for the shelter, a stand of aspen trees. There was thirty feet between them when the shooter fired his dart. But the Mustang made the gun and the needle missed its mark. And there was magic in the muscle and strength in every line. Face of Western history, going back to Spanish times. Conquistadors and cowboys and legendary chiefs. Shy and soon the Kyle reflected in that beat. In Waypo speculated on the drummer that had played. The wild silence rushed to fall back on the pinion and the sage. Perhaps as long as there are Mustangs out there running free, the wild left in the wild west won't be just a memory. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and uh, those of you that don't have that album, it is available on online if you're uh, interested in um, assisting donations to the Wild Horse Foundation. Um, that probably sold more CDs than any CD I've ever done, and you get a penny for that one. <laughs> That's all right. It's a good cause. Uh, oh, I need this. So the next song that we're going to do is from the very, very first CD I did a long time. Where it feels like a long time ago. Steve had hair. <laughs> Believe me, he's going to get even. <laughs> yeah, my hair was brown. <laughs> so I have to tell you the story about hair. Sally and I went to Yellowstone earlier this year. No, last year. And uh, I went to get a fishing, fishing license. And the guy said, what color hair? And I said, brown. And Sally just started laughing. And she said, just go look in the mirror, dude. <laughs> so this is a song called Alkali Rose. This is a song that Sally actually gave me the idea for. Oh 
Oh, they say she was a wed to a cowboy named Bill. He rode away one morning. She waits for him still, though the years come and go. To the hope she still clings, he'll come back for his alkali rose in the spring. South to Rennie Peak, all the birds stop and listen whenever she speaks. I don't want the rose of Texas, nor the rose of Killarney, but I wish that I could lie rose for me. Just west of Winnemucca, with a humble out on the plier where nothing else grows There's a maiden more fair than the ruby mountain snows She blooms in the desert and out the liar You guys doing okay? Not too hot yet? Be down to shirts and skins here before long. So, um, I remember when I, when I first started playing, you know, everybody would say to me, geez, Richard, do you get nervous when you play? And I, I used to get nervous at first, and then, you know, that somebody said, well, you should just picture everybody in the audience nude. <laughs> you guys are looking good. <laughs> so, for those of you that have traveled east on Highway 50, just before you, uh, just on the outside of Fallon, there is uh, Sand Mountain, and there used to be a phone on that road to, uh, to Eureka, and it had a sign, and it said, The Loneliest Phone. And I always thought it's a good idea for a song, so I stopped and I took a picture of the sign that said, The Loneliest Phone, and the next time I went by there, the phone was gone, but the idea stayed. So this is a song from some album I did. I have no idea which one it was. This is called The Loneliest Phone. One, two, three, four. What? Is that me? Oh, that's why. Oh, that's right. This is so much better than the CD, isn't it? Get it all here when you live music. Ready now? Well, it's about time. <laughs> on that loneliest highway, on the loneliest night. I am spending my onlyest time to call you at home. But all that picks up is the wind and a lonesome dial tone. Oh, what were the chances you'd answer the loneliest phone? froze to death on Friday I spent the night in the cab of my old truck 
I couldn't sleep at all just knowing you'd be gone. By the time I got unstuck, I found some change in the ashtray. And the right words I hope would patch things up. That lonely phone keeps saying a little change isn't gonna be enough. I am adding my name to a long list of others who desperately need it to speak to another in a landscape this empty. Longing settles deep in your bones. No one ever answers a call from the loneliest phone. No hellos and no alohas, just adios and sayonaras. But I'd give a full month's pay just to hear you say, How are you? Another lonely tear falls in the dirt And only that loneliest phone Knows how much it hurts There's a place on Highway 50 You can find out how much heartache Ten cents buys Where that loneliest phone never cries. I am adding my name to the hundreds of others who stopped on this spot to call old friends and lovers in a landscape this empty. The longing settles deep in your bones. song of the year that kind of thing so he sent me this poem and it was three pages long and he wanted me to make it into a song and I was pretty much sure that Les knew that songs are really only three verses usually so I said well I'll, I'll take it on and uh, this is a, a song that uh, a true story about a Winnemucca cowboy so we recorded the song in Las Vegas and uh, sent it away and it's on Les's album and this got song got nominated for Western Music Association Song of the Year. So this is a song called Three Days and Forty Fires. He threw rawhide like an old vaquero and he brought the bovine down from the rocky rim. He rode two rain and a Spanish spade. We boys all looked up to him. We finished up a gather, he'd made his cut, headed home, across the rangelands of Nevada, a land he called his own. He was going to see his mother, he promised, and he was late. 
and his mount showed up next morning with an empty saddle, standing alone at the pasture gate. One, two, three, four. Through the broken rocks and sage, built forty sagebrush fires for three long nights and days. No shelter from the wind and cold, from the scorching sun. He drank water from the cow track where the rain and earth were one. On a lonely sagebrush mesa, where the wind and rain confer. a tarnished pair of spurs. Three days and forty fires. They told me that puncher's tale. Three days and forty fires aren't the ending of his trail. Found him His hat full low, shade his eyes, and seemed to be at rest. He wore a pair of tarnished spurs, the last he'd ever owned. We thought he would awaken, but his spirit had had flown. On a lonely sagebrush mesa, where the wind and rain confirmed, hanging from a headstone. There's a tarnished pair of spurs. Three days and forty fires told that puncher's tale. Three days and forty fires mark the ending of his trail. Three days and forty fires What that said about that man We found him near the old corral Hands folded on his chest And his hat pulled low shade his eyes Seemed to be at rest He wore a pair of tarnished spurs The last he'd ever owned we thought he would awaken, but his spirit it had flown. Thank you very much. Thank you. So if you're interested, you can actually get that song for free. Um, you can download it, uh, I believe, on our website. Is that right? My spousal unit said yes. That's correct. Um, so I've always thought that uh, the story of Nevada, um, the parts that you hear about mostly are, are mining, um, little mining towns. That kind of thing, but the story of the West is a lot bigger than just just gold, just uh, just mining. It has a lot to do with people that live here and people that decided to stay here when the gold was gone. And this is uh, my tribute to them, and this is called More Than Gold. Through the heart of the old west I hear the voice 
houses in the oaks and in the pines they tell the stories from another place in time there's more than gold in these hills blood and tears and iron wells hopeful hearts and aching backs they wrote their names in the railroad tracks the part of the greatest story never told Hillsides along a rock wall, straight and true. It's a monument now. What hard working dreams can do, some chose to dig here. While others chose to sow, they found their fortunes in the things that they could grow. There's more than gold in these hills, blood and tears, and I heard the wills, hopeful hearts, and aching backs. They wrote their names in their way. The part of the greatest story never told These hills, these hills are more than gold No truer words were spoken All that glitters is not gold Sometimes a rock you stand on's worth All the rocks you hold In a light of a golden morn, the rush is over. But not all that's gold is gone. There's more than gold in these hills, blood and tears, and iron wells. Hopeful hearts and aching backs wrote their names in the railroad tracks. The part of the greatest story never told. These hills, these hills are more than gold. So I, I, uh, I don't want to be um, top heavy on Virginia City songs, but I don't think I could play in Virginia City and not play this song. Um, I always wanted to write a song about what it was like to live in Virginia City. And uh, I always thought that it would be a really historical song, you know, and, Walking the same boardwalks as Mark Twain and the v &T Railroad and miners and, and all that. And uh, <clears throat> that is not the way it came out at all. This is what it was like to grow up in Virginia City. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Last call at eight o'clock. Locking up tonight. A lonely wind on Main Street. That's the only sun. Looking for a place to blow through the one stop light town. Get quiet on a winter night. There ain't a single tourist left in sight. Just a glow from that old blinking light Down on the corner of Main There's nothing moving but the courthouse clock Stray dogs are running down the block Probably wouldn't have a thing to say If this old town could talk Last call at eight Looking for a place to go. 
A secret anywhere in town. The slightest whisper makes its way around. I heard that she heard that someone said, Better learn to keep your windows down. The local cop's been waiting there all night. He clocked you 30 in a 25. That kind of reckless ain't the way we drive. Now you're gonna have to tell it to the judge. Last call at 8 o'clock, turn out the lights, roll up the sidewalk when you're locking up tonight. A lonely wind on Main Street, that's the only sign. You know the beer line forms Beneath the neon where the bar flies swarm And if you're new in town you'll have to learn Don't have a town drunk so we all take turns Last call at 8 o'clock Turn out the lights Roll up the sidewalk When you're locking up tonight some stuff that I had written quite a long time ago and I came across uh, some lyrics that um, I don't know what happened to them sometimes um, things just don't work out didn't sound right or whatever so I put it away and um, I said 10 years later I came across these lyrics and I thought geez I could probably do something with that so uh, this is a song that's called each day Fall in for relief. Hey. 
each day I do what I have always done. I take another step towards what this will become. I grew up here in the soil and I was raised on sweat and toil. I learned to curse the flood, pray for rain. It's a deep root holds its ground And a branch that bends Is one that does remain Each day I do what I have always done I face my tasks And I take them one by one Each day I face those crosses on the hill Say a prayer and let them know that I'm here still. These mountains are my home, beside this fence is all I This is uh, like Johnny Ringo meets the Twilight Zone. <laughs> and this is a poem called Revelations. The bullet struck me on the pocket watch and left the hands forever frozen, straight up, dead noon. And it might have been for a moment, it might have been for a lifetime, but time stopped and nothing moved. I had never seen a draw so fast, a blur, a flash, a nickel-plated lightning bolt. And now he stood there, not even breathing, with a wisp of Blu-ray smoke curled around the barrel of smoke. The sun hung suspended in its apex, anchored in a sea of cloudless blue, and up and down the streets no shadows grew, no breezes blew, and no birds along the rooftops flew. I tried to move, but I couldn't. Not a muscle, not a hair and a single star adorned his vest, and it was there I fixed my stare. And then from a place I would not visit, where my past I kept in tune, and I watched as slowly one by one my buried memories were exhumed. I journeyed back along the path that I had taken as a youth, a life devoid of conscience or compassion, estranged from beauty, love, and truth. My father found his salvation in hard liquor. My mother died giving me birth. And there never was a question that my own life was to him of very little worth. Somehow he viewed her death as a debt, one that had to be repaid. And I prayed to heaven for my salvation from the living hell my life he made. Ignored in prayer 
And raised on faith, I took the devil's brand. And from that ungodly coalition, I gathered strength for what I planned. My father stumbled home one night. His disposition was foul and he black, and he struck me hard across the face. But this time, I struck back. I sent him crashing through the tables and the chairs, and he came up in a rage. But I was there to greet him with both barrels from his own 12 gauge. You'll never amount to nothing. The last words he ever said. And I hope God showed him mercy because I smiled and I shot him dead. I left our home a pile of ash. I took his horse and I rode away and I never cried a single tear, at least not until today. I learned to cheat and I learned to steal and I learned to use a gun. And I learned to survive on my wits and my lies, and I never trusted anyone. I never worked an honest day. I never earned my keep. I never returned a favor done, and I never lost a minute's sleep. I wrestled cows with a kid named Billy Voss, but Billy Voss got caught. And I learned that justice comes in 12-foot lengths because they hung him on the spot. I robbed the payroll office in Leadville, left a guard and a teller dead, and to expedite my apprehension, they put $5,000 on my head. To the boom towns of California where rivers and nuggets flowed, I found easy pickings among the diggings, relieving miners of their gold. For 10 long years, I cheated fate by keeping on the trail, and I never slept in the same bed twice, and it kept me out of jail. But I always knew there would come a time when the devil would demand his cut, and you could ride like the winds to the ends of the earth and that would never be far enough. Circumstances being what they was, it was just a matter of time until someone put a name with the face, and the name and the face would be mine. I rode through a little town called Janesville. I stopped to get a bite to eat, and I never saw that man with the lightning draw that followed me into the street. He called my name, I spun around, and I saw his marshal's badge. My hand dropped to my holster, and then came the muzzle flash, the bullet struck me on the pocket watch, and time just ceased to run. And then came the screams that I wished were dreams, and I saw the damage that I had done. The voices of misery and misfortune that had followed in my wake now cried out for swift atonement for all my vast mistakes. And a wave of revelation crashed upon me, and I was flooded with remorse. And at that very instant, a church bell rang out in the distance and time resorted his course. I cried out, God forgive me from this litany of my sins. And I never drew my six gun. I just let him shoot again.